Alrighty, guys, gals, non-binary pals, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today's uh, intro makes a lot of sense for what we're going to be talking about. Uh, normally, you know, I'm a lot more excited to film these videos. Today, I'm not as excited. Uh, what we're going to be talking about is a little bit more serious, I guess, and it's about, we're talking about someone that I consider a friend. Um, and so it feels weird, but I got to do what I got to do. I don't know what else to say other than that. So my friend, Michelle McDaniel, uh, also a content creator on YouTube, talks about a lot of very similar things to me. She released a video titled, I don't get they, them pronouns, and I never will. Demi Lovato, hashtag rant. Solid title. Hey, we all love the clickbait titles, right? So we're going to go over this. Now, I, I do want to make it very clear. The reason, the reason that I decided to make this video is less about what is said in the video and a lot more about a comment that was made after the fact, which really kind of bothered me, honestly. And so if you are watching this video, I would recommend I would or I would hope that you would hold your comments off until the end of the video or at least until you watch that part that's all I'm going to say before we get into it all right so uh let's go ahead and play it hi I'm Chucky and I'm your friend to the end so also if you don't know Michelle does um I mean I'm assuming most of you guys know who Michelle is she literally she gets like four times as many views as I do on my videos so I'm assuming most of you know who she is she does a lot of cosplay stuff so she dresses up this was released I think on Halloween or very close to it so Chucky cosplay she always does a great job she's very talented in that so I just yeah if you're not familiar I assume most of you are <laughs> Are you scared? Oh, you are? Well, what a coincidence, because everyone seems to be scared to say the phrase, I don't understand pronouns, except for me. And what a great time to have this scary phrase said. Smell that? Halloween time. Fix setting with the perfect topic. Well, YouTube, strap into those sensitive seats, break out those holiday treats, and get ready for a scary topic. The one that makes everybody scream. <laughs> We're talking pronouns. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit up. I'm in my I'm me, because when you channel is by hitting the the topic, the title, straight person talking about LGBTQ plus. Oh no, we're not allowed to do that, aren't we? Too bad I'm mischievous. Something I don't under. So first thing here is I, I feel like a lot of people, they seem to think that it's very scary to talk about LGBT um, things if you're a straight person, which I can understand that line of thinking, but I, I don't know. I personally have never really been afraid. I'm a straight white dude, um, a straight cis white male. A lot of people seem to not believe me when I say that, but I promise I am. And, uh, you know, I've, I've been, I've had similar opinions and I've realized that I made it a lot more scary in my mind than it really was if I was genuine about the things that I was saying. So if I was genuine about being like, yo, I don't understand this and I'm trying to learn, I've never had anyone be like, you idiot, how do you not know this already? What are you, stupid? I've never had that happen to me. If I'm being genuine and saying, I would like to learn, please help me, you know? Understand is how straight people are not allowed to talk about LGBTQ plus thing. Whenever I hear a straight person talking about the LGBTQ plus community, I hear the following. You're straight, you don't understand. You can't talk about this, it's not your place. Well, you are correct, I do not understand, but I can talk about it because fortunately, this is my space. You're on my channel, and I talk about whatever I want. And today, I want to talk about pronouns. So come on, come in, sit down, stay a while. I know you want to talk about pronouns. Some of you guys can't shut up about pronouns. And this is the time to not shut up about it. It's the time to express your opinion. So recently, I made a video about Demi Lovato and Demi's mouth saying aliens is an offensive term to aliens because Demi talks to them. Demi Lovato? is insane, all right? I just wanna make that very clear. They, <laughs> I, this is my opinion, okay? 
I think that it's wrong that people will use Demi as the end-all be-all for the whole community of people that want to be referred to as they, right? Non-binary folks. I think that most people that are non-binary probably think, I'd love if Demi was not our leader, or people assume to be our leader, you know? And so I'm just going to put that out there that I think most people that you speak to that, uh, you know, identify as non-binary probably are like, Demi Lovato, uh, mm, not my favorite person. I could be wrong there. That's my opinion. I feel like people use Demi as a scapegoat because it's easy because they are Demi Lovato, you know? Just saying. Yeah, link below. We also talked pronouns, and in the video I mentioned how many people in the LGBT community flip out when you say the phrase, well, I don't understand they, them pronoun. So, again, I've never experienced that. If you're genuine about being like, I don't understand this. If you're genuine about it, I've had people totally willing to explain it. That's just my experience, though. For some reason, when I see that phrase being said, I hear many people from that community freak the fuck out because someone doesn't understand something and to make them understand, they just yell at them. You know, it reminds me of the ultra religious family who finds out that their son is gay and then they send him off to a like Christian conversion camp that prays the gay away, those type of places, and they just yell Bible verses at them until they say that they're not gay anymore. Or when you're sitting at the kitchen table really trying hard at this new math you're trying to learn and your parents are helping you, but their help is yelling at you until you understand it. Yeah, none of those seem to work. But y'all do it and expect people- I agree that those things don't work, but I also have never had that experience when it comes to this topic to just understand. So those are two things that I personally do not understand, they, them pronouns, and people yelling at you to just understand they, them pronouns. And three, saying that you don't- So, uh, it's just strange to me that this is the second video that you're making about this topic. And you are in the video saying you don't understand what it is, is the topic of the videos. I... <sighs> you don't understand is now offensive. How? Is it offensive when I don't understand math? So when I posted that video, you would be amazed of how many people that were from the LGBTQ plus community itself slid up in my inbox and were confused as well. But just from observing people in this community, it seems that many of them just try to act like they know what every single thing is in this community in fear of not looking woke or not offending someone. So I will take the fall for everyone. I will sacrifice myself. I volunteer as tribute. And say, I personally do not get it. I would rather say I don't understand than act like I understand and then look like an idiot when I don't understand. I did look up they them pronouns, but honestly, I still really don't understand. I really don't get it. I personally don't understand referring to a singular person as a plural. It just fits. <sighs> okay, so this is where it doesn't feel like it's no longer I don't understand. It's more I don't agree, right? So the best way I can really explain they, them pronouns is in English, there's a lot of languages who don't even use gendered pronouns, which makes it easier. Uh, but the way, that I, the way that I understand is say you're talking to a friend, right, and they have a job. And they're like, oh, my boss just texted me and said that I don't have to come into work anymore, anymore today. And you respond, oh, what did they say? You don't know if the boss is a man or a woman, and you say they. they. The person that you're talking to understands that you're talking about their boss. They're not going to say, my boss is not a they. There's only have one boss. I don't have four bosses. They're going to say, oh, they said this. Or they might even reply and say, she said, or he said this. And then now you know what they like to go by, and you can use that pronoun if you choose to. Right? I... So there's a difference between, in my head, genuinely not understanding, which for a long time I didn't. Trust me, I was on this side where I was like, 
I don't understand. I think it's silly or whatever, right? But then when I was it was explained to me, oh, cool, easy. Very odd and new to me, which a lot of people seem to get upset when somebody doesn't know the whole they them pronoun thing. Very interesting. I'm so happy that there's people out there that know absolutely everything about everything. We've got some well-rounded educated cookies here, but unfortunately for- I don't claim to know everything about everything. And I don't even claim to know everything about this particular subject, but I have been taught, people have told me what, you know, what it, it means to them. For your intelligent butt cheeks, some people don't know everything and don't understand everything. The first time I heard of they, them pronouns is when I made a video about Trisha Paytas and people were yelling at me, virtually of course, which means they were writing in all caps, to make sure I know they mean business. Trisha Paytas goes by them, they pronoun. It's not that hard, Michelle. Show some respect. And then I went to her Instagram and saw this. What the fuck am I? So again, this is another person that I'm sure a lot of people in the non-binary community would say, eh, would love if they weren't the representative for all of us, you know? Just, just saying. I supposed to use and why are you yelling at me anyway so a little confusion there i watched a video a long time ago from blair white oh not the satan of the trans community now you're gonna write off the whole video because you don't like blair white even though i personally think i'm gonna make a pretty good point oh good you're saying i'm very glad the lgbtq plus community and many other communities prides themselves on being so open-minded and all inclusive so i'm happy that you are reflecting that thanks for staying the video was actually very, very humble. I thought it was gonna be crazy. Basically, she was asking people in the community how many genders, you know, pronouns, etc., etc., and everyone had different answers or kind of just looked around and waited for someone to answer for them so they didn't offend anyone or answer wrong according to the people that were around them. Pretty much just adding to the confusion. Even right now, someone is- So, uh, dude, uh... When it comes to Blair White, regard I've, I haven't seen this video. Um, I would have loved if you, I don't know, if there was like some parts of the video was actually played. But um, I think a lot of people might write off what Blair says, not because of what happens in that video, but a lot of the stuff that she has obviously backed in the past, right? So like it might not be specifically what's in that video, but a lot of people will write off someone. Um, I'm not saying this is good or bad, but based on the content they've made in the past. And I feel like that's a pretty normal human thing to do. Like, I have seen the content they've made. They're not changing their mind on it. So I am not going to go and seek out their content or listen to what they have to say because it's clear that they don't agree with what I have to say or it's clear that they are not trying to learn, right? So I think that's why people might write off what someone says because of the past content that they've seen, especially if that content hasn't changed at all is explaining something from the LGBTQ plus community who is in the community and then the next person is going to explain the same thing and it's going to be completely different because from person to person each person has different thresholds, different triggers, different experiences. This leads me to it's hurtful not to use people's preferred pronouns. It just kills them inside and causes depression and so, I mean I think that it is hurtful like especially if you if you know what their preferred pronouns are and they ask you, which we'll get into at the end of the video, again, please stick around. Um, if someone asks you to use a certain one, then just do it, you know? In my opinion, that's what I do, right? If, if someone, if you are intentionally not gendering someone or using their preferred pronouns because you don't want to, I think that's kind of mean. Like if someone keeps keeps calling me she, oh she said this, she said that. When I'm like, no, I'm a dude. I pre like he, please, you know. And someone keeps saying he or she, she, she. I think that's kind of rude. Just like Blair White, right? She identifies as a female. She she wants to be called she, right? It would be really, really, really mean of me to say he all the time when referring to Blair, right? I wouldn't do that because that's not something that she wants. Just like anyone that would like to be referred to as they I might mess up and I do I don't do it on purpose though you know like if someone asks me hey I want to be referred to as they gotcha I'll do my best if I mess up I will 
fix it and try and move on, you know? Suicide. Apparently, it's not that big of a deal to many people in the community. It, in the video from Demi Lovato's mouth, Demi's lips. It's not. And that's the thing that's frustrating because videos like this make it seem like everyone cares so much. When if it's a genuine mistake, most people in real life, now there's a difference between the internet and real life. There's, there is a difference. Um, in real life, if you genuinely misgender someone on accident and they are like, hey, she or he or they or whatever, usually like, oh, I'm sorry, gotcha. You know, it's awkward, but you just, you, you move on, right? Online, it's a little bit different. People get heated, you know, but in real life, I've never seen it actually turn into a huge deal unless someone is like, hey, he, she, they, whatever they want to be referred to as, and then you continue to not refer to them as that on purpose. If you do it on accident, truly, I feel like most people understand, especially if someone is not presenting, right? They want to be used. They want she to be used, but they're not super feminine presenting. Yeah, that's going to be, it's, I'm going to mess that up. Like not on purpose, and I will do my best not to, but I, like, I'm gonna mess that up. Even said, they fuck up on their own pronoun. Kinda makes me think that Demi is uh, trolling a little bit. If it was that serious of a change, I would think that you would remember. But it also proves that people fuck up. I use they, them pronouns, and I've noticed that my LGBT plus friends get upset with me when someone accidentally or purposefully uses the wrong pronouns. And my reaction is either understanding that it may be difficult, or just not giving a fuck. It's like if I don't react in a snappish or offended manner, I'm not trans enough, which is extremely disrespectful and hypocritical. Trust me, if someone responds to you messing up their pronouns in a snappish or harsh way, it's more about their insecurities and not really about you. So they brought up insecurities, people forgetting, and how people respond to that. So that leads me to a commenter that is not like the previous commenter. So I got a certain comment on my Instagram when I made this caption to this thumbnail to tell people that, you know, I just posted this video. And in the caption, I said, she. So I was in a rush, y'all. I just bought a house, kind of proud of myself, but I just bought a house and I was going to the design center. It's an hour away. We're driving, I was already late, I didn't eat. So we're rushing, rushing, rushing. While we were almost there, I was like, oh shoot, my video's posting at 10 and our appointment is also at 10. It's 9.55 right now. Let me make a post really quick. So right at 10 o'clock, I can just post it. 9.59, I'm sitting right outside the design center and still typing out what I'm trying to put into my Instagram and all my other descriptions. Rushing, rushing, rushing. and post and now it's time to go build my dream house. My first fucking house. What a happy day. A four hour appointment and halfway through I was like, you know what? I'll check my Instagram really quick. Try to respond to some comments and I see this. You know by the caption that Demi uses they them pronouns yet you still chose to misgender them. Bit disappointed really. So it's really frustrating like that is just projecting that they are acting like they're holier than thou, right? I don't know if that's how that person was coming across. Like, they might be a genuine fan of yours, and they're disappointed that you used, uh, you know, he, she instead of they, right? And your your uh, reason for why you did that, that's fine, right? But again, like, I don't think it. you have to go and say you have this whole, th like, this is the whole reason. It's like, oh, my bad. I You know, I messed up. I'll change it. Like, I don't, I don't know, man. Like, I ju that just, like, to me is such an easy thing to just be like, oh, my bad. You know? I mean, congrats on your house and stuff, but. It was a little honest mistake. Even in my thumbnail the night before, or not the thumbnail, my title, I put she, and I was like, oh, let me change that real quick. And so I tried to go out of my way to make sure that I put Demi and word it so it was still good at being searched. And then I just accidentally messed up in the Instagram post. And then get that shit. First of all, disappointed. You are not my mother. And my mom knows I don't give a fuck if you're disappointed. I'm a grown ass woman. So how do you think you being disappointed in me is going to change anything? And two- I, so- Man, when people act like this, I, dude, this video, I am not trying to sound holier than that. I know that it's very, 
it sounds like maybe I'm trying to sound like, oh, I'm some great person, right? But for me, I've always been like, man, these people that watch these videos, y'all that are here, I, there are people here right now watching that are disagreeing with me, right? And that's fine. But like y'all have changed my life and made it so I'm able to do the things that I have done, right? Michelle, the people that I, I assume, the people that are leaving these comments and are watching your video have made it so you're able to do the things that you do with your life. You're able to buy this house. And so while it's annoying, it, it definitely is annoying when someone says they're disappointed in you, when people are supporting you and helping you do these things, it's like understandable that they might feel upset when something happens. I'm not saying you have to bend to their will and do everything that they say, but to treat someone with so much, I guess, like disrespect is just wrong to me. I don't know. I'm not trying to act like your freaking dad or anything, but. You, once again, it was just a complete accident. It's not my language. I look at Demi as a woman, so it's normal for me to quickly say she. So once again, people are gonna just mess up. But I personally cannot stand these type of people in these communities. There's always those people that comment this type of I'm superior than you comment. I'm disappointed. Get the fuck out. You know, for all the disappointed people out there, I told my dad that I would become a stripper and spread my butt cheeks in front of I don't care who before I would ever ask him for any type of money and he said well that would be disappointing and you know what I said good I'm over those days of adults being superior and disappointed because I am the adult now I responded and told him that that kind of attitude is just kind of like yeah that's really gonna make me want to understand you but if I was my younger self my very defensive self I would have been like bitch I ain't doing anything you say since you want to be an uppity little asshole and I see this happen a lot someone has to bombard into someone else's page to tell them how they have to use words and then the other person does not like someone else feeling superior over than them and then it just starts this war of whatever war it starts and absolutely nothing productive happens everybody hates everybody and it continues do you get what i'm saying that attitude of superiority because you know pronouns or you remember to use people's pronouns all the time you never mess up good for you i forget but that attitude doesn't make people who are at least trying to be respectful to want to get to know your story so i obviously I obviously got a ton of comments saying them though pronouns are stupid. Actually, like I said, I got a lot from the LGBTQ plus community saying it's dumb. They're just trying to take power from like actual trans people or actual people that have issues and they just want attention. And I was like, yeah, it does seem pretty intense to throw a fit over. And then I was like, holy shit, I get it. I found a way that I can freaking relate to people not using they them pronouns and it being a big deal to them. Like I said, I try to put myself in other people's shoes, so let me break this down for you. I have something called misophonia. What? You don't know what the fuck that is? Wow, so insensitive, very disappointed in your lack of education. Be better. Thought I would show you how some of y'all act when people don't know or understand something. Yep. So I have something called misophonia. Again, I've never dealt with that, so I don't know. It's basically something with the brain that certain sounds make you feel intense rage, anger, you want to murder someone. It can be as simple from a pin tapping to someone chewing loudly because they were never taught basic table etiquette to close their freaking mouth. Some people were never taught that. And look at that. That's my trigger. Open mouth chewing or just really loud eaters, especially loud eaters that breathe heavy at the same time. Oh my God, drives me completely insane. If you do that, I've imagined doing some pretty horrible things to you, but I won't because I'm scared of blood. Even if I do all this, yes, I am scared of blood. So if that sound is going on, it's a big deal for me. The room will spin. I will weep. I will sweat. I will want to kill myself. That's a real thing. People want to commit suicide. I will have a panic attack. I can remember every single situation since I was little of someone eating loudly. So if someone, imagine if you told someone hey, I really don't like when you do that. And someone said, I don't understand how that could be something that you deal with. And then they basically refuse to listen to you, right? They refuse to listen that that's a real thing. They refuse to believe that you actually have that. They think, they say to themselves, or even to you, you're just making this up because you want attention. You're just making this up because you, you didn't get enough attention as a child. 
You oh oh if I don't if I if I chew around you what are you going to be depressed? What are you going to be depressed now if I chew loudly around you? How would that make you feel? You wouldn't want to be around that person, right? Probably not. Easily, every single one. And I think about them all till this day. It's a horrific experience that I'm explaining right now and it sounds so funny, but it is what it is. And growing up, there was no name to this. I was made to think I was crazy. I was yelled at to act right. The 90s version of be better. I even got a spanking a couple times because of my attitude because I couldn't handle my emotions when someone was making those noises that I hated. So speed up to my adult years and I meet my boyfriend and he's great and everything's fine and then I meet his family and oh my god they're open mouth chewers. <laughs> Holy shit. I was horrified. I thought about breaking up with my boyfriend. You think I'm kidding? Talk to someone that has misophonia. <laughs> it's that serious. It's so- So this is a a perfect example, right? Because this happens to people that are either, you know, trans or, you know, non-binary. Imagine, imagine being in a relationship with someone and you meet their family and they refuse or they're not okay with it. Like, that would be heartbreaking, you know? So funny and so stupid, but it's serious to people like me. Anyway, we talked it out. We vocalized my little condition to the family because I can't deal with it. They're a very nice family. They would absolutely never intentionally hurt me like my family would. And sometimes they forget. And at first I was like, I knew it. They're doing it on purpose. They are eating towards me. Their mouth is literally turned towards me and they're mocking me. Y'all, they've been eating like this since the day they were born, I'm guessing. It's very hard to just all of a sudden stop something that's very natural to someone. Same thing with pronouns. See? My long, stupid, drawn out story did have a point. Most people use his and her, she and he. That's what I use and I will continue to use. But if someone tells me they use a certain pronoun, I'm going to absolutely do my best. I will fuck it up. So right there, I'm like, when I watched this video the first time, I was so confused. Because right there, you are saying that you'll do the thing that people are asking you to do. So, why, what is the point of this video, right? If you're saying, I, I mean, you said I'm going to use he and she, but you'll also use they and them if someone asks you to. That's all that people are asking. Like, that's, I don't. It up occasionally, but I'm gonna try. You can tell me you wanna, you wanna be a fish man and you want me to call you fish man. I don't care, it has absolutely nothing to do with me. It's not gonna hurt me to call you a fish man. Do I really believe that you are a fish man? No, but it's not gonna hurt me to say, hello, fish man. Hi. That really has, is not the same thing at all, but all right. How you doing? If someone goes by them, they pronouns, then I will address them that way. I will try to remember, but you just did it. If someone goes by they, them pronouns, I will address them that way. It's not hard. You did it. Like, I don't get this. I don't, like, it's like people want to be mad about something that they're already doing. But remember, I will mess up. Maybe even all the time, especially at first. Whether I believe it or not, I will not intentionally hurt you and call you a she or a he if that's not the way that you want to be addressed. Whether I believe it or not, whether I think you're doing it for attention, it really isn't going to hurt my soul because I know my little sound thing isn't a big deal to other people. I like to call everyone that this doesn't affect the normal people, but it's a very big deal to me. And when I mention to someone who is eating loud, hello, sir, can you please eat with your mouth closed, my ears are bleeding, and it's going to cause me to have a panic attack now and every time I think about it, and they don't respond with a, oh, you have an issue with loud eating? <laughs> it means the world to me. They don't understand it. They might think I'm a freak of nature, but they close their mouth and they eat without all those sounds while I'm there, and it is very pleasant and a very- So, exactly. Like, that's all people are asking. That's it. 
like the end of this video makes the, the beginning of it and most of it it doesn't make sense like they are they seem disconnected to me very nice gesture that makes me feel a lot better. And so I look at it like that. I know some people refuse to address people in a certain way. Some people will always address someone in a certain way. And I personally think that if you want me to address you in a certain way, just let me know in a nice manner and I'll make sure to do my best. I might not understand it. I probably never will understand it, but it's not really my thing to understand. I'm sure many of you are thinking of misophonia as an excuse to have an attitude and that's completely I don't know anyone that thinks of it like that. Like I genuinely believe, and I would say most people probably genuinely believe that's something that you have. I also feel like I have something similar. That's why I don't ever watch the mukbang videos that people send to me because I cannot, right? Like I don't think anyone is sitting here saying that that's a fake thing that no one believes in. Fine. But it's a big deal to me and it means the world when people don't do those certain noises that I ask them to not do. So if someone asks me to address them as a them, it's not gonna hurt me in any type of way. Just let me know. It's that easy. See, that's the video today. All right, so that's the video. And again, I know you're probably watching this being like, this has nothing to do with weight loss. Like, why are you even talking about this or fitness? So the reason that I even like decided that I was like, this, this is... I just had to say something was the comment that she left that she pinned. And I, I was like genuinely, <sighs> I, so she puts, she pins this comment says, this is for the, it's not that hard to just get people's pronouns. Right. Right. So basically me. Okay. I went to some of your profiles and many of you are obese. So I'm going to tell you right now, cut out all junk food, not necessary if you want to lose weight. Keep sugar to 16 grams a day, definitely not necessary if you want to lose weight. I eat way more than that. Measure out all your food, don't need to do that. Count your calories, get into the gym and lift weights, plus do 30 minutes of cardio. Minimum six days of a week, and then you need to do all of it by tomorrow. And then you don't do it, I'm going to yell at you. It's not that hard. Put more effort into it. All of what I listed seems very doable and pretty simple to me. But I'm sure many of you would probably need some time. Anyway, follow me on IG. Happy Halloween. So when I saw that, she, she, she posted that on her Instagram. I was like, what? How? This has nothing to do with asking for people to use the correct pronouns. And the way that this was worded was so, in my opinion, intentionally just so mean. Um, because I have been morbidly obese, right? And I can say beyond a shadow of a doubt, beyond a shadow of a doubt, not even close. It was much, much, much harder to completely uproot and change my entire life to lose the weight than it was to use they, them pronouns. Like, it's not even close at all, right? And then to say, again, I noticed that most of you are obese. Like, maybe I'm wrong here, but I know, and I don't mean this in a derogatory way at all, but I know that the topics that I talk about and stuff, a lot of my followers are people that are trying to lose weight. Just like a lot of the topics that Michelle talks about, a lot of her followers are going to be people that are trying to lose weight. So it's just such a, uh, it just feels like such a mean way to address, again, these people that watch your videos and support you, right? And something that I noticed that she did, which I've never seen her do before in the past, was she actually turned off the comments to this post right here, which is about Demi Lovato. You can't comment on that. As well as, so this post has comments turned on. But then this post about her newest video has the comments turned off. Which is very strange considering everything that was said in the video. Saying like, I'm just sharing my opinions. This is how I feel. I feel like you should be able to say what you want to say. While you're saying all of that stuff. But then completely like, just making it so people can't talk, right? So like I said, those are my thoughts, and I guess they'll probably offend someone. 